Hi guys, what is up and welcome back to another top 10 video on the channel. Today I'm going over the 10 best mods to turn your standard vanilla Minecraft world into an epic post-apocalyptic wasteland. As always, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of my top 10 videos or my other videos such as my mod battles or mod showcases. Anyway, let's get on with the episode guys. First on our list today, we have the Lost Cities mod. One of the most important things, if not the most important thing, is to make sure you have an amazing world to play in. The Lost Cities mod brings that aspect to the game. Make sure when loading the world up to use the Wasteland preset in the options. It lives up to its name of Wasteland very much so, as everything looks dead and void of life. Before we get into the other mods though, the texture pack I have decided to use is called the Battered Old Stuff Texture Pack. I feel this texture pack will really help the post apocalyptic feel come alive a bit more. With any mod pack like this you are going to need an awesome gun mod. That's why I've chosen the best gun mod there is, and that's the Vix Modern Warfare mod. This mod adds in stacks of weapons and armor suits. The animation for the weapons in this mod look amazing as well. Another great aspect about this mod is it adds in a fair few mobs as well, which really bolsters the feel of a post-apocalyptic wasteland. Overall, this is a must-have mod. Now we move on to the Journey Maps mod. This is an extremely useful mod to help you navigate the dangerous and treacherous world you're going to be exploring. Up next we have the Mutant Mobs mod, because they look awesome and just make the world that bit more challenging. They're basically a scarier and stronger version of their vanilla mob counterparts, with some added additional abilities as well. Next on the list is the Angry Sun mod. With this mod installed, it means that if you go outside during the day, you will actually take damage from the sun. It also gives you a few other effects which can be toggled on and off. There is a craftable suit of armor though, which will grant you the ability to go outside in the sun and be able to explore during the daytime. Moving on, we have the Dynamic Lights mod, a simple but effective mod. This mod app makes light sources look nicer and more appealing. This mod is just to improve the aesthetics of your world really. Now, we have the Food Funk mod. This mod means that you can't just store up tons of food, 
as it starts to go off over time or out of date if you will. You have to actively continue to go out each day and hunt and obtain more food to keep yourself alive and free from starvation. There are ways of preserving foods for slightly longer lengths of time such as a fridge or a storage compartment. This mod in general just makes the world that bit harder to survive in. In at number 8 is the Twisted Tweaks mod. This mod adds in a variety of things that make the world that bit more deadly and harder to survive in. Most notably, it adds in acid rain and starve to death where players die instantly from starvation. This mod plays and fits in perfectly with the Food Funk mod which is making the world even harder to survive in. Coming towards the end is the Raiders mod. As well, every post-apocalyptic wasteland is going to have some sort of raider or bad guy. You're going to need to fight and battle these raiders off to protect your items, food and well armoury. The mod adds in a few variants of raiders to spice the game up. Finally today, we have the Infernal Mobs mod installed. This mod basically makes all the different mobs in the game spawn in with a different randomly generated ability. It's a fairly simple mod, but just adds that extra bit of depth to the mods that are going to be coming into your world. So guys, now I'm going to go and do a little playthrough of this mod so you guys can see what this mod pack would look like if you were playing through it, battling some of the mobs and avoiding some of the elements. So, sit back and enjoy! Well, that's it for today's video guys. I really hope you enjoyed today's video as much as I did playing it. It is a great, great little mod pack for you guys if you want to set up a post-apocalyptic survival series. It is so much fun. It looks amazing as well thanks to all these different mods and the texture pack itself. 
But anyway, guys, make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below what other top 10 videos you want to see on the channel. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, guys, see ya.